I know firsthand what drivers are made of. I have racing in my DNA. I've broken barriers and records. I race for my country. I dream about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the 48. Being talked about in the same sentence as Junior. You may not know who we are, but you will. Welcome to the NASCAR Xfinity Series, live from Atlanta, next Saturday, 1.30 Eastern, on Fox Sports 1. If the drivers of the NASCAR Xfinity Series are supposed to be the future of stock car racing, please don't put e-strippers on the track. It insults my intelligence as a fan and makes me not very inclined to want to continue watching the races, knowing there are people on the track who probably don't deserve to be there. What I'm about to show you is Xfinity Series driver Natalie Decker's Patreon page. However, because of copyright issues, I'm not able to just scroll through her Patreon page and all of her posts in a web browser. I have to do what's called transformative use and turn all of her Patreon photos into a mod for NASCAR 21 Ignition that plays them on the Jumbotron. Therefore, this video is of NASCAR 21 Ignition gameplay, where I simply park the car in front of the Jumbotron and definitely not of Natalie Decker's Patreon page. Because this mod is still a work in progress, it might be hard to read the text on the Jumbotron, but for 20 bucks a month, what Natalie is offering is behind-the-scenes access into her life, as well as private, one-on-one -on -one DM messaging. This sounds an awful lot like a lewd OnlyFans account, and I'm not sure why a serious professional racer in the NASCAR Xfinity series feels the need to do this for a couple hundred bucks per month. You could argue that she's making Landon Huffman-style vlogs about her race weekend and showing people the life of a professional racer, but all plausible deniability goes out the window when you actually start scrolling through her posts. Every photo set this girl uploads are clearly ass-focused, such as this upskirt shot at the golf course. There is no actual behind-the-scene footage of what it's like to be a race car driver, and instead there are vague posts such as her saying she loves Slurpees. The content she uploads is indistinguishable from sex workers who use OnlyFans as their preferred platform, and sometimes it gets a little weird, such as this post where she goes to the pool with her mom and shows off her mom's tits. Again, what is advertised as behind-the-scenes material isn't actually behind-the-scenes at all, and is simply ass-focused shots of her doing mundane tasks around the house. I've saved the best ones and put them in a little compilation here so I don't waste too much of your time, but every photo set is like this. It's one thing to upload your modeling photos, but it's very obvious that these photos were all taken spur of the moment and crossed the line to just outright exhibitionism. As I mentioned earlier, as a NASCAR fan, I feel like my intelligence is being insulted scrolling through this girl's Patreon page. NASCAR has tried to tell us that the Xfinity series, as well as other support series, are all designed to act as proving grounds for highly talented young drivers. Yet with a one-time purchase of $20, I've discovered that one of the girls smashing up cars in these support races every weekend is little more than an e-stripper. And judging by the spelling and grammar of her post, writes at a 7th grade level. As a race fan, I'm just not quite sure what to make of this at all. Especially the one-on-one -on -one private DM service, which you can only imagine what kind of things happen in there. I highly doubt people are sliding in the DMs asking where her A-arm mounting points are on her late model. I'm a single guy, I'm not going to pretend I don't have an OnlyFans account, I know what those DMs are for. This isn't to say I'm some uptight religious nut job who hates e-thoughts. I love e-thoughts and I think I've made that very clear. What I didn't ask for, however, is for e-thoughts to smash up a bunch of cars in the NASCAR Xfinity series and other support series. As a race fan, I've sat through some extremely odd situations involving female drivers, such as Ray Evernham fucking Aaron Crocker, there was Emma Kimmelainen being asked to do a nude photo shoot or else she wouldn't get Indy Light sponsorship. There was a local funny car driver to me, Courtney Mijot, who was aggressively asked by an NHRA team owner to dump her boyfriend and become his mistress in exchange for an NHRA ride. There was Vince McMahon paying off multiple girls with hush money after he fucked them. There are multiple young, attractive female drivers smashing up an enormous amount of cars in the feeder series of major racing organizations, and still progressing up the ladder system in fairly nonsensical ways, and now we have a NASCAR Xfinity Series driver running what is essentially a lewd OnlyFans account, complete with ass shots everywhere and private one-on-one -on -one messaging. So my question is, what conclusions as a fan am I supposed to draw from all of this? This is just incredibly embarrassing for the sport.